Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle chit chat and review and today I'm talking to you about Aluma lids. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new to my channel then welcome and pleased to have you here. Thanks for dropping on by. Hope everybody's had a good week and everybody's well. So let's jump straight into it. Aluma lids. So do you have any Aluma lids for your Yankee Candles? Do you use them? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear. I actually had thought I had more than this in my collection, but um, here's some that I have. Um, I love this one here because this is the flat one. You can I, can, I have seen these on eBay and Amazon. This one I like because it goes onto the home inspiration jars. Also, it goes onto the original jars, so I like that one. Um, I like them for the different colours. Some waxes, when they're blue, I like the nice silver lids on top of them. If it's a more warm coloured wax, I like the gold lids on top of them. I like this one for pink coloured candles, and this one I like for, this one's kind of universal to me. Um, this one's more like that gunmetal, and I like this. This goes quite well on me. Uh, Halloween candles. Um, this is summery. I love this. This is from the last Paradise collection, and I really like this one. It looks really nice on the summery candle. So yeah, I kind of I like to, you know, mix and match them. You can see here I have my Christmas ones. One of these goes onto the Christmas Eve candle, and the other one goes onto the Christmas magic candle at Christmas time. I really enjoy Illuminids. Um, also they help with your candle. An Illuminid on top of your candle helps to keep the flame from dancing about, um, which, of course, if it's dancing about, it can cause sooting, black, that blackness you get around the inside of your Yankee candle. Um, by having an Illuminid on, it keeps the flame more steady and stops it dancing about, which, of course, leads to less of that soot around your jar. Uh, also, where it keeps that flame steady, it burns nice and slow and evenly. So an Illuminid does serve a function. I also, um, serves a purpose rather. I also feel that with an Illuminid on, this might sound funny, but I just feel it's a bit more like the candle's a little bit more safer, that, that open flame. Then when I don't have an Illuminid on, it feels really sort of open, the candle. And I just feel a little bit more like safer with an Illuminid on top of my my jar so yeah this is a few that I have in my collection I actually thought I had more than this but no um, this is what I have so I bought recently a haul from eBay and I paid 27 pound for them to get them here to the door that was with delivery and everything I actually got eight of them 27 pound for eight Illuminids is really good because these roughly retail I think this one cost me about seven pound I think I paid ten pound for this one um you know they vary I think this one I got as cheap as I think this one was five pound but they do vary in price but to get eight of them to the door for 27 pound off of eBay it was a private seller I thought was a bargain especially with some of the ones I've got I have seen, there's a couple of these I've been after. You can't get them on the Yankee Candle website here. And um, when I have seen these on eBay, they're going for quite high prices, like even as much as £30 for just one Illuminid on some of these. So um, yeah, to pick them up in this haul that I've got, which I'm just about to show you, and they work out at what? Just over £3.50 each. That is crazy. I've got such a bargain. So I'm going to show you. Might go a bit wobbly here while I move the camera. And these are the ones. Let me just move this so I can sit this down. I don't want to hold the camera myself because we'll end up with it being a bit shaky. But you can see here some of the ones I have. Let me just move these in a little bit. And then you can see. So they're all brand new which I was really pleased about. And yeah, I am so pleased. Can you believe it? Like just over three pound 50 I've paid for each of these. I'm sorry, but I think that's a bargain. This one I love. Um, I've been after this one for a while and I just think that it's so pretty. This one for Easter, I mean, how pretty is that? This is the one that I've seen going between 20 and 30 pounds on eBay. Um, so I am so pleased to have this one in my collection. Um, I love this one, Live Love Laugh. Love this, this is really nice. It's gonna go great um, on the autumn jars, I feel. On the orange colored waxes, it's gonna look really beautiful. And then deep yellows for the autumn time. 
Um, this is going to go nice on the sort of maybe the Christmas ones and the wintry candles. This one's um, quite unusual, quite different. I do like this one with the little hearts around it. Very pretty. And then, of course, this one, another Christmassy one. The little snowmen on there, Christmas trees and penguins. So don't you think I got a bargain? Let me know in the comments what you think. But £27 to the door for all of them, I think it was a really good bargain. So I'm really pleased. Um, now it gives me quite a few in my collection. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now it gives me 17 in my collection, which I'm uh, going to be purchasing some more. There's a couple more Christmas ones that I'm after. Um, but yeah, I was really pleased. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I got a bargain uh, and if you own any of these ones. And if not, what ones you own? Are you like me? Do you like to put um, certain Illumilids on certain candles, certain colour waxes, you know? Or is it just me being funny? Let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. I will reply to you because I love hearing from you. So yeah, that's it for this week, really. Just a quick little uh, show off of the haul I've got. Now, of course, I can take these off the cards and start using them. I've been really uh, looking forward to using them. And I will be back next week. Um, I'm not sure what I've got in store for you next week yet. So uh, we'll leave that as an open one, as a surprise, and see what um, I'm going to be doing. But yeah, hope you have a really good week. And I will be back next Sunday. Bye!